Rebecca Brand, and today we're going to make the very best cup in the whole wide world of pour over coffee. I love coffee. I get asked all the time, what are you on Rebecca in your videos because you're so crazy? My answer is coffee. On my channel you're going to see all kinds of recipes for all kinds of coffee drinks. This is the best recipe for a pour over coffee drink. I'm putting in three tablespoons of beans into my handheld Java Press coffee grinder. Shake, shake, shake. And that's what three tablespoons of coffee beans looks like in your Java Press hand crank coffee grinder. Set the bottom to a medium coarse grind and that took some trial and error. So do this at home. On top it goes. Put a lid on it. And on goes that hand crank. It's a hexagon shape. It's going to stay secure that way. And time for the action, Jackson. We got to hand crank that. It doesn't take any batteries. It is super easy to do this part. And around and around that hand crank goes. And where she stops, we all know, with a great cup of coffee. I love these for traveling because they don't wake up the whole household. I don't want to get yelled at when I get up and have my coffee in the morning. These are so much quieter than those machine coffee makers that wake up the dead. She'll be coming around the mountain for that great cup of coffee. This kind of coffee grinder is also known as a burr grinder. It's much more gentle on those coffee beans, so the coffee is higher quality than those electric ones with all those really sharp blades. The quiet factor is really important to me because you wouldn't want to wake the kids that are sleeping. You need some time to yourself. Dunchum. It's got a great viewfinder, so you can see that it's all completely ground in there, and that's what you need. So get your boiling water and you're going to heat up your Java Press stainless steel filter and the cup. And then I pour it out and that's going to be hot because heat is crucial for a great cup of coffee. Let me show you what medium coarse grind looks like. We'll put it over here and here is a recently sterilized nickel so you can see what it looks like with Mr. Nickelhead. Because I like my coffee a little richer, I go to a medium rather than the medium coarse. That's just me. Remove your nickel. And my recipe is three tablespoons. One, two, and Mr. Third. Three. Grinding is a lot of guesswork, so a little more for next time. And with your very hot water, pour just a little bit. And what you're doing is you're letting the carbon dioxide come out of that coffee. It's a little gas, you want that out, not in your coffee. You don't want it smashed in going into your brew. The hot water also is moistening up those coffee grinds so it'll be able to extract more of the flavor into your cup. This step is called blooming your coffee. Look, that's how much you got out. How the first step. And so now, in a circular motion, you pour in your hot, hot water into your beautifully ground coffee all the way to the top and stop and it takes 60 seconds to work its way through. The size of that funnel is exactly the size of my cup of coffee. It's perfect and at the very end I give it a little stir to help it along and my trick so this lasts forever and doesn't get clogged up is then I rinse it with my leftover hot water Aim shooting fire well though, you don't want to burn yourself. And then a little bit of hot water from the sink. Down the drain, those little granules go. And by doing that with the hot water from my kettle, the oils don't get cold and clog up that very fine strainer. Ouch, it's hot. So make sure you click the link below and you get one. Let's try it. Now for the taste. Mm, that's great, but I can make it even better. I'm going to turn it into a latte. That's my favorite. I have this glass of milk. Ouch. I hurt myself. That milk's really hot the way I wanted it. But you got to be careful. Don't burn yourself. Froth it. I milk it like a cow for 20 seconds with my handy dandy milk frother. Bing. Dunchum. And I add it into my beautiful pour-over coffee. May I please have it 
with a little extra foam. Bing! Oh, and a teaspoon of sugar. I'm Rebecca Brand, subscribe to my channel, and let's keep making great recipes. Like a recipe for a pour over coffee with a little froth on top.